Yo, what up guys, back with another video. Hope everybody's having an amazing day or night. In the comment section down below, I want you guys to tell me what's your favorite weapon, what's the, what I don't know, whatever it is that's your favorite from season four, I want you to let me know in the comment section down below. Um, is it the Vector, is it the Galil, is it Scrapyard? Um, let me know what you guys think about Scrapyard. Let me know what you think about the two weapons as well. But anyway, man, the point of this is the best settings for season four. And I actually did change my settings up, guys, and I want to go through uh than with you obviously and that's why this video is what it is so anyway let's just jump right into it i don't want to waste too much time but yeah man let's just let's go let's get it um anyway the button layout preset i run stick and move i do have a scuff as well so i do have four paddles on my controller um i run stick and move so um and i'll tell you why i run stick and move as well so stick and move it makes you jump with the right stick and your uh, melee is x so i have all in my paddles on to the right side all the way on the right i have circle which is slide then on the inside of that um so on the right side is triangle and i'll get to that in a minute and then i have square on the left side then all the way on the left side i have x so my x is melee and that was very beneficial in um in bo4 because of the shot punch you guys know about that how you can literally one shoot somebody once boom hit them with the uh or melee them kill them right away but we run stick and move with a scuff that's what we run uh we have the default stick layout preset I, didn't, I don't mess with that uh nothing with that dead zone i had kept it at the default setting um i know there's some bigger youtubers that made some videos on the dead zone and what it does there's certain controllers that it changes and what you need to change for each controller so like if you have a certain controller you need a different type of dead zone they somebody else talked about this completely i don't know exactly in depth of what it is i i know what it is but i don't know i want to i don't want to you anything wrong so, so i would search that up on youtube and check something out uh for that for the horizontal and vertical stick uh sensitivity this is where i changed it. i was rocking the 8 8 um and going against a lot of pc players in sweaty lobbies guys um they're able to snap on you a lot quicker when you have a keyboard and mouse okay um, so I decided to bump my sensitivity up. I, I bumped it up to an 11 and 12 um, Or I bumped it up to a 10 first and I dropped it back to a 9 um, My goal here in the next week or two is to slowly bump it up like once a week I'll bump it up and I want to eventually get to like an 11 or a 12 right now I'm rocking a 9 9. This just allows you to snap on enemies a lot quicker um, Then any obviously anything up is going to make you be able to turn quicker and snap on enemies quicker and get your shot first on them so i think it's really beneficial especially against pc players skilled pc players and other you'll get them more of an advantage of other controller players as well so i really recommend 9.9 um, some of you may be lower, some of you may be higher than this, um, but I think 9.9 is really comfortable, especially if you're playing multiplayer. Obviously, you're playing competitive, I would not run that high, but for multiplayer, I think it's really, really well. Um, and also, ADS sensitive, uh, sensitivity multiplayer, uh, multiplier low zoom, I run a 0.85. I run a 0.85. And for the uh, high zoom, I run a 0.95. Uh, I think anywhere between 0.95 and a 1 for the uh, the high zoom is really good. Uh, the higher sensitivity right here for a 9 really uh, is well with a 0.85. Uh, because the higher sensitivity, you probably want a little bit lower of an ADS sensitivity multiplier. Um, for the aim resp uh, response curve type is standard. I do want to talk about this a little bit. Um, there's been some uh, videos on Warzone. I don't know if you guys have seen, but the focusing, uh, with the focusing aim assist right here, these go together, the aim response curve type. Uh, people are using focusing and you literally can aim and as soon as it, it drags onto enemies, uh, it's a lot slower, but it literally drags on an enemy if they run by you. It's absolutely overpowered and it's almost like having an aimbot. I'm not kidding, it's that overpowered and I never use it. I've always ran standard. I'm just going to keep it at standard. I haven't even messed with the other ones, but I think standard's the way to go. Uh, ADS is melee, so my X, and obviously aim down sight is L2. Um, aim down sight behavior, I hold equipment behavior, and right here I just want to talk about use and reload behavior. I tap, okay? So to I tap to pick up items in Warzone. This is very beneficial. Um, and back to Warzone, I use triangle on my scuff because then I can use armor plates while I run instead of having to stop, which I did all of season uh, uh, three. Uh, so I ended up changing it to triangle and then I can run while uh, using armor plates. So anyway, slide behavior, I hold it. I, I, some people say tap is very well, but I do hold to slide. Um, no auto sprint, nothing like that. Those are all normal. 
um, some key things right here a lot of people are doing uh, for the color brightness I keep it at 60 I think that's pretty a good area you can obviously between 60 and 60 or 50 and 65 I think is the best spot for it uh, film grain 0.25 um, I don't know what tool tips is for I don't I've never even looked at that subtitles I have them off colorblind a lot of people change this colorblind right here do you guys see how much colorful or more colorful that is so there's regular okay that's pretty dark boom look how much color that pops see that looks pretty good that last one I, I think that's really really good guys I don't run it I run disabled but I have tried this I don't know how to even say this word so I'm not gonna say it but the last one and the first one I have used I do rec I think both of them are really well just depending on your preference um, no motion blur uh, for either mini map shape I have a square I did change this a, a little while back this is one change I did make as well um, when you're playing Warzone, it's more beneficial because you can see almost double uh, your area compared to a circle UAV. So when you have a round UAV and then switch to square, you're going to be amazed of how much ground you can cover once you have a UAV in the air. Uh, especially for Warzone, it's very beneficial because then you can see vehicles coming from a further distance, obviously enemies, all that good stuff. So I really recommend you change that to a square. Um, I didn't change anything else for that just the just a circle to a square um uh nothing else for that guys for my audio i have boost high master volume is 100 music volume i have a zero i just don't like hearing the music the game is already bursting my eardrums as it is so i don't want any more music um on that dialogue volume 100 effects volume footsteps all that good stuff at 100 obviously you want to hear footsteps juggernaut music i don't ever use juggernaut and i plan on never using it as well so i I mean, it's enabled, but I have never used it, so I do not know what that's like. Uh, hit marker sounds, Modern Warfare, you can obviously change those to Classic, None, or MW. I do not recommend doing it to None, but if you want to improve your accuracy, having no hit marker sound effects would really uh, greatly improve that because you would not know if you're hitting the enemy. You would always have to really rely where your ADS or your sight is at on the enemy. So I think that'd be really good to help your enemy or help your accuracy get a lot better. Uh, voice chat enabled. My open mic recording threshold is 3.16. Voice chat 100, microphone volume 100, and that. So, yeah, man, crossplay is always enabled for me. I always play crossplay if I'm playing multiplayer. Um, I don't. You guys can turn it off. It doesn't matter. Whatever, you, whatever preference you guys have. Obviously, if you're don't whatever system you're on, boom, you're playing against that system. If it's disabled, if it's enabled, you're playing against PC, Xbox, PS4. So. Yeah, man, that is my settings. If you have any questions about anything, um, let me know in the comment section down below. And like I said, let me know how season four is treating you guys and what's your favorite part about season four or your favorite item. So anyway, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Yo, whatever, buddy. If you made it through the whole video, I really appreciate it. I know settings videos always like aren't the most exciting thing to watch, but I know a lot of you are interested in what settings I run and what other YouTubers are running if you happen to watch my video. Um, I believe my settings are really, really good. Obviously, it's personal preference at the end of the day. Uh, maybe you run a 10, 10 cents instead of a 9, or maybe your ADS is different, but whatever you feel comfortable. But if you want to pick some parts from here and there, um, from my settings video uh, go for it guys because they do work really well for me and that's kind of what I've done in the past is take parts from Korean swags all of their settings and I kind of implement it and to be my own like I took one little part there took a part here and then boom I combined it all and now I have my own settings so um, that's kind of what I've done over the past few years just watching YouTube and starting to do YouTube as well because I only started YouTube about a year and a half two years ago but anyway man I want you the point of the, this little outro I'm making is I want you guys to let me know what you want me to do on the channel as far as do you want to see a best setup? Do you want to see how to approach gunfights? How to have better movement? Um, how to increase score per minute? Improve your KD? Um, whatever it may be, how to approach certain maps in the game. I want you guys to let me know and interact with me in the comment section down below because I want you guys to feel involved in the channel as well. Uh, I'm doing it for you guys. Like If I had no fan base, why would I do this? Um, you guys are the ones that are pushing me and motivating me to keep going and um, enjoy what I'm doing. So I want you guys to comment down below anything of what you want. Obviously, I won't be able to cover all of them. Boom, boom, boom. I have a lot of new content to cover right now, but in the future, I want to cover it um, as best as I can uh, for you guys. So, yeah, man, I appreciate all the support recently on the channel. Videos are doing a lot better um, since I've been consistent. 
And we're going to keep the grind going, man. Season 4 just hit. Comment down below what's your favorite weapon. Vector, Goil, tell me one reason why. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.